former WBO cruiserweight world champion Marco Hook will take on British slash Jamaican cruiserweight contender Ovil McKenzie in Germany in the city of Frankfurt on September 24th. In fact, let me just double check that date so I haven't made a mistake here. Yeah, it is on Saturday, September 24th, Frankfurt, Germany. Ovil McKenzie is a favourite among many hardcore British boxing fans. Outside of the hardcore, nobody in Britain knows who Orville McKenzie is. But among the hardcore British boxing fans, he has a cult following, Orville McKenzie. It's kind of like a a smaller version of what Dylan White has. Um, in fact, his cult following is probably more hardcore than Dylan White's. Dylan White has got, I think, a bigger fan base in the UK than McKenzie. I suspect, anyway. But the McKenzie <laughs> UK fan base, I think, are a bit more hardcore. They really like McKenzie. They like his personality. They like the fact that he's scared of no one, that he'll fight anybody, that he always gives it 100%. So he has a lot of respect in the uh, the trade in, in British boxing and among the hardcore British boxing fans. And a lot of people are very excited to see him fight Marco Hook. Uh, there's no world title on the line, obviously. Hook lost his title to... Uh, Christoph Glowatsky. So, I don't know if this fight is going to be an eliminator or whatever. Perhaps it will be. It's a very, very difficult fight for Oville McKenzie, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, I don't see him beating Marco Hook, people. It would be nice. I mean, may the best man win at the end of the day. I actually quite like Marco Hook as a fighter too. But, yeah, just based on styles... In ability, unless Marco Hook has regressed severely since losing to Christoph Glavatsky, I can't see him losing to McKenzie. I think he'll be too big, too strong, too knowledgeable, too experienced, and I think he'll probably take McKenzie out. That's my opinion. Um, some people might not like me to hear me say that and say, "Oh, come on, Hat Man, McKenzie can do it." This, that, and the other. You should be backing him and and whatever. It's not about for me backing him it's about what I think is going to happen you know maybe the upsetter will be able to upset Marco Hook he certainly seems up for the fight he certainly seems motivated for it uh, so you know best of luck to both gentlemen and may the best man win we'll see but with my boxing analyst hat on I see Marco Hook winning the fight and as I say probably probably stopping over McKenzie Marco Hook has been in there over McKenzie can punch um, he has somewhat carried the power up to cruiserweight to a certain extent at a certain level. But Oville McKenzie's a guy who, even though he can punch, he's not that sophisticated with his attacks. So he don't find it that easy to land that big shot. And he's admitted himself, he's not really a natural cruiserweight. He could still make light heavyweight now. And going in there against a guy in Hook who is a natural cruiserweight, who's a big cruiserweight, who's going to come into the ring 210 pounds, you find it difficult, well, I find it difficult anyway, to imagine that McKenzie will be knocking Hook out. I find it very difficult to imagine. And I find it difficult to imagine him beating Marco Hook on points because of the fact that Hook is going to put whatever pressure he needs to put on over McKenzie, I think. Um, McKenzie probably got the longer arms in this fight, even though he's the shorter man. He's got very long arms for his height. They might have the same type of length arms, but it will be similar. So maybe McKenzie can move a little bit. Who was that guy he lost to recently in Argentina? Was the guy called Ramirez? I forget the guy's name now. But he was like a similar kind of size to Hook, you know, a big cruiserweight. And although many people thought McKenzie beat him, you could see that the size difference was so huge <laughs> that, that it was kind of like a tank and a pea shooter in there with uh, Ramirez, if that's his name, being the tank and uh, <laughs> Hopeful McKenzie <laughs> being the pea shooter. <laughs> it could be a similar situation with Marco Hook, apart from the fact that Marco Hook is much better than that uh, Ramirez guy. If I'm, if I'm totally thinking of a different name than the guy's actual real name, then you know, by all means, crucify me in the comments, people. But I think he's, <laughs> his surname is Ramirez. 
<laughs> he's one of those here today, gone tomorrow type uh, fighters. So anyway, drop your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about Oval McKenzie versus Marco Hook taking place in Frankfurt, Germany on September 24th? Who's going to win and why? How do you see the fight going? Will it go the distance? Will somebody get knocked out? Drop it all in the comment section. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.